Hello. Or should I say, ready, ready? Hello. Hello. My new drops I got all ready for this stream. I've also I've played these uh, in the the startup music portion of the stream. But for those of you um, watching in the VOD, we've also got this is baby. This is baby. <laughs> this is baby. Ha! And we've also got um, we got Scrim. <laughs> Um, uh, what did I do? Uh, the Wayfinder project. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's so it's so easy to use. You'll you'll lose uh, a ton of your time to it. Yeah. Um, today we've got Cage Limits and Abilities Trivia Part 2 by Superhuai. So there's the code. Oh. Oh? Wonder of Electron? <laughs> Jeez, fucking Mint. Yeah, fucking Mint. Like, it does mean good sarcastically, I think. Um, at least if I... Remember from the boomer quiz that I took, the Gen Z quiz rather, it turned out I was a boomer. I'm 100% dat boomer. Oh, look at this. This is a pretty little, it's got, the, it's got the moving background too. No worries, hamburger splash. Fucking mint is not good. Is it, isn't it like, maybe I just didn't, didn't uh, absorb any of that information, but. She used it genuinely to mean good. This is baby. See me when I see Keynote. This is baby. This is baby. <laughs> um, look at this. It's emphasizing that something is trashy. I guess I really didn't uh, I didn't take any of that with me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use Scrum when I uh, <laughs> when I'm having trouble. <laughs> is it good or is it bad, Scrum? Not the fact that it's a drop, just like within the game. Like, is it good or bad? What do you think? Oh, you know what? Let's run a poll right now while we wait. Also, is this loud? Yeah, vote now on the Shion Scrim. <laughs> Poor Allison Stoner. <clears throat> it's fantastic. Hello, Captain Blitz. Um, how did I do on the first uh, limits and abilities? Goo. Am I on the leaderboard at all for that? Let's see. I got fourth, so I might have a shot. That was back on June eighteenth, if you could believe it. You know how many Kahoots we played? We played like. 93. This will be our 93rd Kahoot, or 94th, I think. So, that's pretty nuts. That's... That's... That's nuts! Yeah, what he said. That's Allison Center's only good work for the franchise. The Scrim. 21 people say it's good, 10 people say it's bad. So, anything special for 100? Well, if we go by the schedule, our 100th Kahoot is probably already locked, so let's... I might be wrong on the amount. I think if I go by the sheet, if I have all of them cataloged on the previously played sheet, which you can look at on the Discord, if you go to the Kahoot channel on the regular Pat Discord, you will see that there are 93 previously played Kahoots, not counting the top bar at the top. Yeah, so 93. So that means today should be 94, and then... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, <laughs> Kahoot 100 would be Barnabas' uh, Donald Duck trivia. <laughs> That's currently scheduled for the 9th, August 9th. Um, so, that's currently what it is. Um, which I think is fair. <clears throat> um, pull random questions from previous Kahoots. One question from each Kahoot. That would be kind of fun. Um... Yeah, and then one new original question. The Titus lap, that would be good, yeah, as a drop. There has been a Kahoot Kahoot. We played a Kahoot Kahoot. <laughs> when did we play the Kahoot Kahoot? Uh, yeah, Buffoon sent me a regular pack Kahoot Kahoot for June 16th, we played that. Um, which I won, but I didn't count myself, because it's about me. But yeah, we've been there. What's up, Milano? Oh yes, and uh, Vaka sent me an Axel Kahoot right before the stream got started. I'll put that on the schedule after we're done here. 
and we'll get started on this one in, uh, you know, like two, three minutes. Gotta love the Kahoot Kahoot. Yes, hello, Milano. I lost my mouse. There we go. Hello. Um. Yeah, we should be all scheduled up through... With vodka now, we'll be scheduled through August 23rd, I believe. Plus an extra one because of, uh... We have another one that she made for after we beat days, which might happen before or after that. I really don't know. Um, so yeah, we have almost all of August uh, covered already. We're doing a double feature next stream to Synthesis Trivia um, by Lemonhead and Captain Blitz. I figure I just group those together in case there's repeats or whatever. Bow, bow. Very excited for the Romsom... Um, KH1 would happen first trivia. Oh, I should say, programming note. Um, no stream on Saturday. My grandparents' anniversary, um, that'll be probably starting. We'll have a, having a dinner probably, like, in the middle of when my stream would be. So we're not going to stream on Saturday, but there will be a stream on Sunday at 6. It's going to be the KH3 randomizer race with me, Bio, Demo, the Spike Getty Bros, Shibuya Gato, and Tatsumaki. So that's going to be what's happening on Sunday. Probably will be like a three to four hour block. Um, I've not practiced at all. I know many of my competitors have. So um, that'll probably be, <laughs> you know, me losing, but we'll, we'll have fun. Um, I made a suggestion to Water about, um, I was joking. I was like, there should be like, it should be like Melmem, the randomizer, where if you're racing, there should be like incoming tricks. So if I find a certain item, I should be able to, like, make Mike Spaghetti play the game with his feet or make Bioroxis, like, close the randomizer and play Final Fantasy XIV instead. But then Water actually, like, made a list of punishments. So if you ever find a classic Kingdom game during the randomizer, you're able to send a punishment related to that game to your competitors. So, like, uh, <laughs> and I guess I'm spoiling a little bit, but um, one of the punishments is, like, let me see... So if you find Mickey's Prison Escape, the classic Kingdom game, you have to go to the Caribbean's jail cell and stand in it for two minutes. <laughs> um, if you find uh, the Barnyard Battle, you have to complete one 100 Acre Woods minigame. Um, if you find Mickey Steps Out, you have to step up and away for two minutes. You can't continue playing if possible. Um, <laughs> if you find... Uh, the Wayward Canary, you can choose a song for the runner to sing to from a Spotify or YouTube link. So, uh, I, I said it as a joke, and then Water, like, made a whole <laughs> made a whole thing out of it. So I think that's pretty fun. Um, yeah, it's like The Amazing Race, that's right. <laughs> How long do I think it'll be? I mean, it's, it's gonna be as long as it takes for somebody to beat me, um, and the rest of us. So, I would think someone's gonna be able to do it within four hours. So it'll be like our normal stream time of 6, just not on Saturday, but on Sunday. Um, 6 p.m. Eastern is when it'll start. Um, so, yeah, Water said, I am down to bully people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, for those of you who aren't familiar, and I've never done a full rando race myself. I've, I've been invited to this. Um, basically, the gist is um, you're trying to collect three proofs. There's like the proof of promises and the other two that I don't remember. Um, they're basically in random chests throughout the entire game. And our enemies and our bosses will be randomized. They'll all be things that they normally aren't. Um, and you're just trying to find those chests, and whoever can find all three of them can go to Skull at Kylum and beat the game and get the end screen. Like, whoever gets the end screen first wins, basically. Um, go in horizontal. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. So we'll all be playing on the same seed and trying to, um, beat each other. And I guess we can punish each other. Oh, Whale's here. Jason's here. <laughs> Uh, yes, proof of fantasy, times past, and promises. There you go. Um, I'm not sure if the losers will go to completion. Um, it depends on how I feel, because I'll definitely be in last the whole time. <laughs> like, I've played KH3 fewer times than all of them, you know? Um, alright, I've, uh, I've stalled enough. We're gonna play the, uh, limits and abilities Kahoot now. I have to get in myself, actually. Um, let's see, let's see. I guess I'll be Strike Pat. Um, bam, bam. Uh, it is 
Um, and a Yabby Strike Pat. All right. And let me just double check this. Okay. Looks good. It is Cage Limits and Abilities Part 2 by Super Huai. <clears throat> so, Gorilla. Tom LaBange. Let's see. Number one. Using Strike Rating Cage 1, Sora can eat his Keyblade a maximum of. Ugh, I had to like. I had to like pace it out. 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, look at this screeny. Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, and then judgment on the fifth. That feels right to me. I had to like, <laughs> like motion it out to figure out how many times. Yeah, but it took me so long that I'm in 24th, even though I got it behind Dragon Ball Z 1225. Merry Christmas. See Keg the Scrim. I gotta play it again. I just gotta play it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> R is our blondie, little blue ember, Keynod, and Bean. <laughs> well, number two. Um, in case they remind, the following is not something Kyrie can use while playable. Kyrie cannot use. Uh, heart of a princess, light bloom, seven wishes, or one heart. I remember some of these. Hey, want to suffer together? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Um, shit. Heart of a Princess is real. I definitely knew Seven Wishes and One Heart were real. Um, but I did not, was not sure on the red and blue. I went with the red. Um, so I'm in 33rd. Still behind Dragon Ball Z. There you go. <clears throat> it's a short amount of time he plays her. So, Little Blue Ember, CK the Scrim, uh, Maritz 0114, uh, and Mike, Mike a Swammer, Mike a Swammer, and Chris Kringle. What's with the Christmas stuff today? Number three. Um, in Cage 2, landing attacks with Aladdin Speedster can spawn um, all of the following, except... Uh, I think probably... MP, MP Orbs, HP Orbs, Money Orbs, or Drive Orbs. It's Christmas! Or like one day off from Christmas in July. Shit, you would think, as like a thief, you would like spawn some money to get from the enemies. Um, I said MP. Um... I don't really use Aladdin a ton in uh, Cage 2. Well, goddammit. That was my last guess, was money. Um, Maritz, CK, LS Dawson, Little Blue Ember, and Micah Swammer. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's about limits and abilities from, from Kingdom Hearts. Um, but clearly, <laughs> you're winning, so. Uh, number four. In 0 0.2 in Cage 3, Aqua Spellweaver Finisher has her conjure up. Um. Chains of light to entrap foes, a wayfinder made of light, a massive snowflake, or a burst of prismatic light. I don't know. I guessed. Ah, really? You know, I thought it was, and but it just seems so unlike the other ones. Um, so I went with the wayfinder. I think the wayfinder one would be cool. Uh, I'm in 36th. I'm not doing very well at all. I got the strike rate one right. Marit's Little Blue Ember, Micah Swammer, Why Snow, and Chris Kringle. <coughs> In mission mode of days, Donald Duck's limit break is... Um... Oh, God. Donald Flare, Fantasia, Seven Elements, or Donald Meteor. Donald, no! <laughs> Did someone say figure skating? What's up, Egg? Yeah, why is it Christmas? Um, we're all wondering... Fuck! Oh my god. I was gonna say, uh, I said Meteor, but like, Flare and Meteor are like, you know, um, just like team up attacks that he can use in three. Um, Seven Elements is the name of Goofy's, um, like, Ultima Shield in Cage 1 Final Mix. And uh, Fantasista is the name of that for Donald, but Fantasia is just the name of the movie, which I guess is also his limit. So, go figure. 39th! Uh, <laughs> doing very poorly. Um, Little Blue Ember, Maritz, Oogie Gift, White Snow, and Ellis Dawson. Number six. Um, and recoded, the overclock finisher Data Sora can use with Donald and Goofy is... Uh, Spinner Ray, Trinity Limit, Wild Crush, or Triple Pursuit. <laughs> I know now that I don't need the Keyblade. I have a better weapon. This gun I found. <laughs> gun! 
Gun! Gun! <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, it's gotta be... Fuck me! I was so close to picking that, and I swapped a triple pursuit at the last... Well, not the last second, but... I was like, ah, and then I switched. Um, Wild Crush is, uh... That's like a... Recom thing, isn't it? Where they all run around with, like, a Goofy as a battering ram. Churning limit, obviously, is in most games. Um, I'm in 39th. Fuck. I'm blowing it. Yeah, it turns out... I mean, I, you know, for the combat, not so big on it. Uh, Keynaud! Number seven. <clears throat> Double points. Um, the following KH1 skill was not weirdly uh, retranslated in the English version of 2FM. Not weirdly retranslated. Um... Ours Arcanum, Ragnarok, Sonic Blade, or Strike Raid? Wait, were they all? All but one of these? <laughs> Fuck! I don't even know what that means, to be honest. Um, so this means that all of them except Strike Raid were we weirdly retranslated. So what were they retranslated re into? Um, well, last Arcanum. So Sonic Blade, what was Sonic Blade? What is this question? <laughs> uh, Rag was Infinity, and Sonic Blade was... You're, like, really? Sonic Rave? God, I have, like, no memory of that. You could have told me they were all exactly the same, and I would have believed you. Fuck. I'm in 41st. <laughs> um, Oogie Gif, Sora's Heart, Buffoon, Final Blitz, and Little Blue Ember. Can I even possibly make it at this point? Like, that's... I've gotten one question right. Uh, number 8. Um, the iconic Blazing Donald Slay from Com was replaced in Recom by the rather inferior, uh... What is this question? Donald Meteor, Mega Flare, Stardust Blitz, or Donald Faraga. <clears throat> um, what is this question? I don't know. Whale, do you know? Um, Whale's here. If anyone would know, it'd be her. Ah! <laughs> um, I think I got this one. Yeah, Stardust Blitz, um... Because I remember from reading about recom stuff for the video. Although I didn't have to talk about that, but I remember reading about it anyway. Um, yeah, Mega Flare is uh, entirely Sora based. You don't need Donald card for that. And then Donald Faraga would just be if you use three Donald cards and he happens to cast uh, Faraga. And then Meteor, like I said, is a Cage 3 um, team up attack. I don't know what Stardust Blitz looks like, but it's definitely inferior to Donald literally running around with his ass on fire. So. <coughs> We got Ogi Gift, Final Blitz, Little Boo Ember, Sora's Heart, Quail is this? And I am in 33rd behind Kyrie's Bugs. Number 9. Um, in BBS, one of Ventus' signature command style, Cyclone, is obtained by... Uh... Cyclone... Ben, don't be fooled! Um... Mmm... So you finally know the truth. Um, Trinity Armor, Radiant Garden, Unverse Swarm, and the Town Near Thieves trademark. Uh, all three Rumble Racing courses, or top, placing top three in all of them, and then opening a chest in the ship hub of Deep Space. Ah! Ooh, I was between red and blue because I know that I had it during my playthrough of BBS, and I was like, well, I know I didn't do yellower, and I might not have done green. Um, mm, damn it. Well, that sucks. Um, Little Blue Ember rises up. Final Blitz, Mor Moritz, Fortnite Sora with Oogie Gift in number one. And there are a lot of names I, uh, am not familiar with here, so it's, a uh, fresh blood for the Kahoot. I'm in 36th behind it. Tech Ashes. Number 10. In KH1, this Forgotten Jungle Man's ability list includes, um, Raging Ape, he ooh, 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 ah, Healing Herb, or Wasp's Bite. I think I got this. This Forgotten Jungle Man. Not the T-Pose. <laughs> oh, nice. Oogie Gift is still a Blossom. Yeah, I do know this one because I would always make sure to, if I'm having trouble with Stealth Sneak, I go to Tarzan's abilities, turn off everything except Healing Herb. Um, I believe it's Raging... Is it Raging Boar for the red one? And then um, Asp's Bite for the green one? Like, they're based on real ones. Um, but yeah, that's like his basically a, a cure for Tarzan. <clears throat> um, Fortnite Sora and Kamori swapping in for 4th and 5th. I'm in at 26th behind Chris Kringle. Number 11. I'm a raging boar. Um, in KH2, <laughs> Tifa's strongest attack is called... 
Um, ba -ba -bum. Uh, Meteor Strike, Seventh Heaven, Final Heaven, or Star Shower. Bum, 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 bum. I think this is mixing in with FF7 Remake. Right? Isn't Star Shower from that? Okay, good. Final Heaven. I remember hearing about that in some other Kahoot, I think. Um, so I got that. Also, my sister just texted me. She asked her boyfriend about the um, the pizza question. He said that if you ordered a plain pizza in the South, there automatically would be pepperoni on it? What? It's very uncommon for people in the South to get just cheese pizza. But if he were to order a plain pizza, he would say a cheese pizza. Fucking... This is ridiculous. You get pepperoni by default? What? <laughs> I asked my mom and my sister a couple nights ago. I was like, what is this? And my mom was like, it's a plain pizza. She was, I was like, yes. And we were like yelling about it. And then my sister shows up. And we're like, what is this? And she goes, it's a plain pizza. And we go, yeah! <laughs> but her boyfriend is um, from Florida, so... Jesus Christ. Ogie Gift, Little Blue Ember, Gamori, <laughs> Buffoon, Final Blitz. I just closed my, my Kahoot. I'm so frustrated. Okay, here we go. Number 12. Um, in days, Zaldan's Dragoon Storm limit break has him... I just saw this, too. Um... Uh, what does he do? I know one of them, it's not. Orbit lances around himself, then blast winded enemies, join his lances lengthwise, and do a frenetic slashing combo, envelop his lances in wind, and lunge at enemies rapidly, or form a dragon out of his lances to shoot enemies with wind. Um. <laughs> Shiverburn's never heard of plain pizza. Ah, oh, fuck! I was between red and blue again! I knew it wasn't green, that's, that's way too big. That's like uh, his cage 2 DM. Um, I've seen him do this, like, four times on stream, and I just... It could have been any of them. It could have been red, blue, or yellow, to be honest. Um, so. Oh, pizza. <laughs> Kamori in second. Number 13. Um, during Riku's visit to the world that never was in Dream Drop, his reality shift is called... Um, it's the Gay Blade. Um, what is it? In Dream Drop... Mirage Split, All's End, Last Saber, or Nightmare's End? And I think we're mixing Cage 2 stuff into these answers. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Thanks for having so many days ones. Um, I got it! Mirage Split. Yeah, um, for some reason I do recall that. Um, All's End, I feel like. All's End and Last Saber, I think, are Cage 2 ones. Um, so there you go. There you go. We got Oogie Gift, Kamori, Final Bloods, Little Boo Ember, and Quail is this? And I'm in 20th behind Kyrie's Bugs. Number 14. Um, in Cage 1 and Calm, Ariel's ability Spiral Wave allows her to... Um, cast Arrow Magic on allies in Cage 1 or enemies, Calm. Swim around the field, hitting foes with her tail. Barrel through enemies using a Corkscrew attack or create uh, generate Whirlpools and Currents that damage foes. I'm between two of these. Look at this cute art. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> yes, I was between uh, yellow and blue. Um, but I think the corkscrew is universal to both games. Cool. I am in 18th behind Limit Dot. We got Final Blitz and Little Boo Ember rising up there. Number 15. Um, aside from Sora, which character can access the most limits in Cage 2? Ooh, uh... Homework! Um, Donald, Goofy, Genie, or Riku? Ba -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. We do. Did I just do a Yassified Keynote impression? Not to my knowledge, but sometimes those things slip out. Just regular Keynote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Genie's got one for each uh, drive form, right? At least, I guess, everything but limit. Um, an anti. Um, there you go. Look at that. I'm in 14th now. I'm bringing it back. Behind Sora's heart. Um, we got Buffoon rising up to fourth there. Number 16. In days, a dual wielding Roxas's limit break is called. I haven't gone there yet. Um, Laser Rain, Event Horizon, Magic Hour, or Miracle Hour. I probably got this wrong. Um, I don't know. Get back! <laughs> Two? 
Mm. Ah, yeah, Event Horizon, I remember being, like, in Melmem, um, the Magic Hour. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I think we all fell for the bait there. Well, what can you do? Mm. Event Horizon is the normal one. Uh, there you go. That's why it's in there. Little Blue Ember rises up. I am in 15th behind. Why oh, snow? 17. New to Riku's repertoire in Cage 3 Remind is his. Hmm. His situation command Dark Bar Barrage, uh, Dark Faraga, his shot lock Dark Divide, or his form change Dark Impulse. What? Um. Oh, it was called Black Hole. Same thing. They're both space things. Yeah, I remember that he got the shot lock and remind, so I got that one at least. 14th behind Quail is this. Y'all got that. Number 18. And the BBS Terra obtains his Ultima Cannon shot lock by. Oh man. Ultima Cannon shot lock. Opening a chest in the Keyblade Graveyard's Fisher, completing the Keepers of the Arena trial, obtaining the Ends of the Earth keychain, or completing the boss fight against Ericus. I think I've done three of these on stream, and I don't remember getting this. So, yeah, that's the one thing I didn't do on stream, was complete all of the Mirage Arenas. So, out of those options, that was, uh... I was like, I don't remember getting Ultimate Cannon, so it must be the thing that I didn't do. Um, we got Ars Arblondi rising up there. I'm in 12th now, behind Quail is this. Number 19. Um, in Days, the accessory that drops its wear to 1 HP, allowing instant limit breaks, is named... Uh, time for some practical application. Mm, extreme, Imperial Crown, Crimson Blood, or Critical Sun? Yeah, I have no idea. I guessed. Ooh, I was so close to that, but I went with Imperial Crown. Um, Crimson Blood seems a little too metal. Um, well, what can you do? I'm in 12th. I haven't found that yet, so... <coughs> Kamori rises up to 4th. Number 20. Um, the recom exclusive slight scene in the 100 Acre Woods Bumble Rumble minigame is called... Uh... Oh... Um, Swarm Scatter, Bumble Buster, <laughs> Honey Burst, or Honey Storm. If only I had gun. Oh, I wish I had gun. I quite like gun. Oh, who misses his Glock? Yeah, Honey Storm. I was between, honestly, I, I was between all but red. Uh, I was like, uh, this could be any of them. I think Bumble Buster is the name of the, is that the name of the Twilight Town minigame? Like, these are great, uh, these are great uh, fake answers for sure. Um, but yeah, I know that like you could like, like uh, spread the honey pots out from around you or something as that attack. Um, I'm in ninth behind uh, Fortnite Sora. Um, Buffoon and Ars are Blondie rise up. Number 21. Double points. Um, in Cage 3, the team attack that Sora can activate with Rapunzel and Flynn is called... Uh, Golden Launcher, Golden Twister, Sunwheel Swing, or Tangled Twist. Boom, 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 boom. Um... I did see the new drip, yeah. In fact, I've seen so much of it, you would think it was like a fucking game announcement. Yeah, Tangled Twist. The the game just uh, calls out the name of the movie with that one. Um, it's a limited time thing, obviously, because Rapunzel leaves after you complete the story for Kingdom of COVID. Um, I'm in ninth behind Komori. All got that one. Number 22. Um, and recoded the Sonic Arts clock ability is native to the Three Wishes keychain, as well as the pff, Sonic Arts native to Three Wishes and Lionheart, Oathkeeper, Lady Luck, or Wishing Star. But I debug them just all the same because it's my job, which is actually really, really important. <laughs> uh, look at that. Look at the credits. Um, shit. I knew it wasn't Wishing Star, because there's no reason for that to be encoded. Um, because it's only Cage 1 stuff. Three Wishes is the Cage 1, Agraba. Wishing Star is for... Wait, no, Wishing Star is, uh... I'm sorry. Three three Wishes... No, Wishing Lamp is the Cage 2, Agraba 1. Wishing Star is the Monstro, um... 
cage one one, but you get it in Traverse Town and recoded. So, but I, I said Lady Luck. Yeah, I always I always forget that uh, it's Wishing Lamp for Agrabah, Wishing Star for Monstro. Um, too many fucking wishy star keyblades, if you ask me. I'm in tenth behind Scream Break, and Buffoon in third. Twenty three. Um, in Cage 3, the name of the unmaximized shot lock for the Hero's Origin keychain is... Um, Lightning Rush, Atomic Deluge, Drain Shock, or Focus Siphon. What's up, Last Order? Yeah, so that's the one that you can heal with. Um, I almost picked Focus Siphon, but I realized that's just an, an ability um, that you can equip or unequip. Um, yeah, cool. Um, we got Little Blue Ember, Oogie Gift, Final Blitz, Rs, our Blondie, and Keynode! I'm in 10th behind Screen Break. So close to making it back. Uh, 24, Larkseen's Recom Exclusive Slate is called... Oh boy. Uh... Megavolt, Teleport Rush, Blade Storm, or Voltic Rush. Ugh, Xemnas. Happy Women's History Month, everybody. Um, what's up, Wu? Ba -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Like, is it Recom exclusive? I don't know. Ah, I wasn't even close to picking that. I was, like, between all the other ones. I said Megavolt. I'm guessing is Megavolt's real, right? But it must also be in regular com. I didn't get it. Revoke my women's card. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, thank Bio for that one. Oh, man. Um, Keynote rising up to third for a late game push from the boy. Number 25. Which of the following is true of Tron's complete compilement limit in Cage 2? Oh, God. What is true? Sword activates it in battle with reprogram. Blocks of code linger and hit foes after the limit ends. He obtains it after de-resing the hostile program, or Sark is extremely vulnerable to it during the MCP boss fight. Um, which one is true? Yeah, I remember that being a thing, where they, the little things would linger and still do damage to stuff even after it's over. Um, so he must get it... When does he get it, then? Hostile program is first visit. Uh, that's the end of the first visit. He must get it after that? And I guess the name to activate it must be different. Um, and I don't think Sark is any more or less vulnerable to it. Still in 10th behind Screen Break. But Keynode rises up to 2nd and Buffoon to 5th. Number 26. Double points. Um, as of February 2022, this many variants of 2nd form are available in KH3. Uh, is this... Mmm! 4, 5, 7, 8. Yeah, I was gonna say 6. <laughs> it wasn't there. So... I'll try to figure out which ones it could be. Because <clears throat> second form... Okay, yeah. I was like... Six seems like the right amount, but five seems like too few, so it's got to be seven. So you got Kingdom Key, you have, um, there's another base game, Starlight, right? The Eating Cross one. Um, Advent Red, uh, Midnight Blue, Phantom Green, uh, what's the Epic Games one that I've had? What is the Epic Games one? The fucking black and white one? I don't remember. That's still six, though. What am I missing for seven? Elemental Encoder is 6. So what is 7, then? Um, Kingdom Key, Star Seeker, or Starlight. I said I haven't read. Dawn Till Dusk. Yes, Dawn Till Dusk, 7-Eleven. There you go. All right, so so to be clear, we have the base Kingdom Key, Starlight, the Union Cross one. You have the Xbox Phantom Green, the PlayStation Midnight Blue, the Switch Advent Red, the Epic Games, Elemental Encoder, and the 7-Eleven Dawn Till Dusk one. Slash 7-Eleven, Amazon, whatever, yeah. It's got the 7-Eleven color scheme. In my heart, it's 7-Eleven. Or Min Min. Um, we got Final Blitz, Buffoon, and Kamori rising up there. And here is our... I'm in ninth behind uh, Fortnite Sora. Our final question, 27. 
Um, in Dream Drop, which of the following deck commands is exclusive to Sora? Exclusive to Sora. Oh, it's not even showing on my screen. <laughs> Fuck me. Whatever. Zantetsu. Oh, Zantetskin. Um, slot Edge, Meteor, or Cake Time? Ah! I didn't even think. I didn't even think Slot Edge was in Dream Drop. I thought that was BBS exclusive. Well, I said Meteor, so what do I know? Um, what the hell is Cake Time? Cake. 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 Fruit cake. There you go. Um, all right. Well, I ended in tenth behind Scream Break, so let's see our leaderboard, our podium. In third place, eighteen out of twenty-seven for Kamori. Very excited. Three exclamation points. Second for Little Blue Ember, seventeen out of twenty-seven, and at nineteen out of twenty-seven for our champion of the day. It's Keynote. <laughs> what? This sucks. Uh, I'm just kidding. Final Blitz in fourth, and Buffoon in fifth. Look at that, Keynote. You know, got first. B I C T H. Look at that. Look at that. All those days questions, you know? Way to go, Keynode. Oogie Gift in sixth. She can't read. <laughs> Congratulations, Keynode. Yeah, you can thank Superfly for all those days questions. Um, well, I think probably. Um, I think this is probably like a 34%. 23. I was way higher on it. Um, most of the questions are difficult, all but six of them. Definitely got that one wrong. Did I get this one right at the bottom? I did not. So, I got a lot of questions wrong. Um, just enough. <laughs> yes, thank you to Super Hawaii for the... Who I don't believe Super Hawaii is here today, but thank you nonetheless. Um, let's look at our... I'll give you the lowdown for the upcoming Cahoots here. On the sketch. Let's move this Super Y one over to the previously played pile. Um, we have a Synthesis double feature on Thursday. Cage 1 and 2 Synthesis Trivia by Lemonhead, and then just Cage Synthesis Trivia by Blitz. Guessing that second one is going to be a bit more general. Um, Cage 1, what happened first? That'll be a week from today. We're not going to have a Kahoot on um, Sunday before the randomizer, so we can start on time with everything. Um, so that'll be a week from today. No stream on Saturday either. Um... So, that'll be Ramsom's Cage 1 What Happened First Trivia. Cage Meme Review Trivia by Oracle. It's all different Cage memes, um, which I'm pretty excited for. And then AI Generated Kingdom Hearts Trivia by uh, Gavaga. Rather, it's uh, Gavaka gave the AI Generator the name of a Kingdom Hearts character, and then you have to um, pick which option it is from the ones listed, which I think will be pretty neat. So, there you go. And um, Mega Fumo, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate that. Um, the randomizer will stream on this channel, yeah. It'll be a typical, you know, regular pat streaming fair. Just it'll be on Sunday at six instead of um, on Saturday at four. Um, but yes, um, there might be like a multi-stream thing to to watch other people. That's beginner mode. Maybe we'll do a double feature that day too. Um, might be too general. Interesting. Like uh, too specific or too easy. People are usually mad if it's too specific, but what can you do? You know, we're like, we're almost 100 Cahoots in, all right? They're going to be, they're going to get tricky towards the, uh, <laughs> towards the late game here. Um, you could do a hard mode one, too, to, to play alongside it if you want, Baka. Um, okay, well, thank you so much. If you just stopped in for the Cahoot, we'll be going over to Days now. Um, but if you want to hop out now, I understand. I appreciate you for stopping by. Um, and goodbye, Von people. <laughs>